The 2K Sports Pregame Show. Hello, Hoops fans. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, along with Kenny, the Jet, the champion, Smith, and Shaquille, the Diesel, the champion, several times, O'Neal. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson. And Memphis is where we'll be going just moments from now, as the Grizzlies will be going up against the Golden State Warriors. And for Golden State, one thing we know, they feel they match up well in this contest. It's obviously an opponent they're confident going up against. We won't have to wait long to see if that confidence is well-founded. Well, when Kevin Durant joined the Warriors, one of the big questions was how Klay Thompson would adjust. He already had to share the spotlight with Steph, and now here's another superstar joining the fray. So that being said... A year into the experiment, how do you feel his role has shifted on this team? Well, oh, okay, go ahead, Jack. Yeah. Oh, you guys fight over it. No, he's they all both want to talk. No, because we want to share a role. I was, I was talking to Underdog the other day. I was anxious. Great question, Aaron. I was anxious to see who's getting most of the shots, and they're all taking the same amount of shots. You know, I think Clay's going to get a lot more wide open as a result of this move. But they're, they're all taking similar shots. Well, you know, Clay's probably the third option. But what a third option to have. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. But he's probably getting easier shots than he's ever got in his career. He, the, the defense has to shift. They have to go double team. I'm sure he's not upset. And winning heals all ills. That uh, just about wraps it up. <laughs> heals all ills? Heals all ills. All ills. Looks like the heals all ills. Are we going fishing? It's a Western Conference battle at the FedEx Forum in downtown Memphis as the Grizzlies look to work the home court advantage. You're in for a treat as we bring you NBA basketball on 2K Sports. Along with Steve Smith and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And our friend on the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge, who we'll be hearing from shortly. And David Aldridge is still... Thanks, Kevin. Memphis head coach David Fisdale spent a long time as an assistant in Miami. He coached the big three of LeBron, D. Wade, and Chris Bosh. He said they were incredible leaders and basketball geniuses. So I was very lucky to be a part of that. A lot of my success I owe to that team we had in Miami. Kevin? 
Thank you, David. Coach Fizz is certainly an exciting young coach on the rise. And these are both veteran teams, Steve. They, they've been around. A game like this is a test of wits uh, as much as anything. They understand what it takes to win. They understand how to will themselves into wins. They understand you can't make mistakes mentally. Veterans, they know how to pull it out. They want to keep it close, and they feel they can win at the end. Boys, nice and high. And it's going to be the Grizzlies off the tip. All right, let's set the floor. Courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Setting the floor for the Warriors. It's the Splash Brothers, Curry and Clay in the backcourt. Inside, we've got Draymond at the four and Pachulia to his side. And it's Durant and at the three spot. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. Has his man just misses with the pass. Not sure what happened on that play. Gasol gets to Conley, and Durant sends it back. You forget, Durant has the reach of a center. He can provide rim protection. Outside Curry. Back to Thompson. Outside Green, five on the clock. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. So it's the Grizzlies now. Conley kicks to Parsons. Martin with the screen for Parsons. All alone. That one's not going to go. And Golden State will come the other way. Down low. Gasol with the steal. McLemore, the pass to Martin. Count it. Good. Martin's got his first two points of the night. This is a guy who knows how to orchestrate an offense. Terrific lead pass. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Here's Parsons. And finished off by Parsons. He's a factor in transition. Chandler Parsons very fluid. And that replay brought to us by Under Armour. Another Unleash Chaos moment. One of the more exciting plays in basketball. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Still without a basket in the game. A max contract last season for Chandler Parsons, despite Greg, his history of knee injury. That was a bold move by the Grizzlies. Yeah, and they needed a great two-way wing player for years. Hopefully, Parsons can get healthy and fulfill that role for this team. Now, here's McLemore. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. It's stolen by McLemore. Pass to Martin. There's the basket and make it a double-digit lead. Uh, I don't know if you can do it any better on both ends than they have tonight. It's early, but they have taken full control of this game. And the fans here, they know it. Back to Thompson. Outside Curry. Golden State moving the ball around. Picked by Pachulia. Here's Durant. The pick gave him all the room he needed, and he knocks down the J. I mean, the most imposing mid-range jump shooter in the game. Durant has no trouble knocking those down. 13 feet away. And off the front iron, and in it goes. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And Thompson kicks to Pachulia. It's stolen by McLemore. Fast break Memphis. Here's Conley. Here's Gasol. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And in today's NBA, how about the value in having a guy at the center who has the versatility and the skill set of a Marc Gasol? With his passing and shooting, he becomes a great zone buster for any team. 
And Mark Gasol becoming more aggressive, looking for his own offense. And I thought at times in the past, he was unselfish to a fault. His teammates egged him on, told him you're the best center in the game. Go out there and dominate. And now it seems like he's becoming more comfortable in his skin. Some changes for Memphis. Evans comes in for Jarrell Martin. And it's James Ennis in for Ben McLemore. Andre Igudawa is checked in for the Warriors. Warriors trail by 12. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And that has been a huge problem for them here early in this game. Deontay Davis is checked in for Memphis. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Right side Gasol from past the arc. The Warriors pull it in. Curry dishes to Thompson. In the corner, Iguodala with it. And there's the feed to Curry. For three, Durant. Rebound by Ennis. Memphis with the ball. They're on a 14-2 run here. Out to Conley. And it's off from three-point range. Igudawa up top. Covered by Evans. And a wide-open look for Igudawa. And the shot no good. A bit short. Three-pointer. And it's Evans missing. Warriors trail by 12. Thompson in the corner. And the rejection by Evans. And count it, and a chance for one more at the free throw line. What's up? That's his first personal foul. The one thing about the way Durant played last season that stood out to me was his defense. Showed that he is more than just a plus defender. Showed he's a great defender. Was instrumental in what the Warriors were able to do. And the Grizzlies making a change here. What's up? Harrison's checked in. Free throw off from Durant. And all the things that make Durant so incredible on the offensive end help him on the defensive side as well, Steve. His length and lateral mobility can erase a lot of mistakes. Well, Kevin, well, a career high in block shots for him last season, but that doesn't tell the whole story. You don't think of him as a rim protector, but that is what he was. Durant doesn't get enough credit for his impact on that side of the ball. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Warriors trail by 12. Green, the pass to Durant. Thompson from long range. It's rebounded by Memphis. And Draymond Green picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Brandon Wright's checked in for Gasol. And it's Troy Daniels in for James Ennis. Different look here for the Warriors. West is checked in for Draymond Green. Young comes in for Kevin Durant. Patrick McCaw, he's checked in for Clay Thompson. And it's Livingston in for Curry. Here is Daniels. Hits it from three-point range. Daniels has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. There's 47 seconds left here in the opening quarter. And a lot to dislike about that. I don't know where to begin. No, not at all. Me either. He doesn't want to look at his coach or teammates. I'm sure he's going to get an earful. And guys, they've come out and established a rhythm. And also their play calling has been on point. Well, the two go hand in hand. Matching your strategy to your personnel is key. Now here's Iguodala. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. And that was a risky pass. Fortunate that the D didn't get that one. It was in the air for a long time. Twice.
27 seconds left here in the first quarter. Livingston, the shot's good on the assist by West. A nice job of converting, but what really makes this play? The lead pass. Harrison kicks to Evans. He dishes it to Daniels. The Grizzlies shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Shooting for Memphis. Two shots. He misses the free throw. So he comes up empty at the line. Here's McCaw. It'll count. And so it's Memphis. In command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And the basketball bloodlines of Clay Thompson. He tells us how his father and brother have become so involved with his success. Dad always watches more film than me. And I watch film too. I'm not saying I don't. But um, he just, they're both fans and they um, have a huge passion for the game. That's why they're still around it.